Ode to the Chunky One. Kiss the belly for me. The pink, flabby underside with its eight protruding nipples, virgin nipples we call them, is a welcoming sight for the familiar and strangers alike. My Pitbull Healer Mix Tupelo is a rescued hound. She hails from the Bronx, a brindled bitch complete with New York attitude. When I first saw her, she was on a mandatory timeout. She'd been nibbling the heels of other dogs, and her company was no longer tolerated or welcome in the kennel. Her underbite, bat ears, undersized head, and oversized stomach drew me in. You know how sometimes something is so extreme that it actually becomes something else? Like, a person could be so fashionable that they actually end up looking ridiculous? Well, Tupelo is to many an ugly mutt. So freaking ugly, in fact, that for me, she rounds the corner back into beautiful. She is the first dog I didn't have to share. She was all mine. My name on her collar, her dog license, adoption papers. I've always wanted a dog, partially so I'd have a reason to leave my house at least twice a day. She was static in my life of flux, a life jacket of sorts at a time when my life was polka dotted with depression. And I especially gravitated towards the pit bull. Ah, the bully breed. Big headed, sturdy, muscular, velcro dogs who are discriminated against, hated, and banned. One day, I saw an old lady who stopped me on the street. She looked at Tupelo, asked what kind of dog she is, and then told me that I should be ashamed of having a killer. All I was ashamed of was the desire to publicly pummel a gray-headed old woman wearing pearls and heels. So there's me, a Middle Eastern girl, prejudged, quote-unquote randomly searched and questioned. And there's Tupelo, a pit bull mix, also prejudged and randomly hated or just avoided. Together, my pit bull and I have driven over 20,000 miles, lived on both sides of the country, traveled through 15 states, resided in five different homes, and have become a little too much alike. She is my safe place, the visual I have in mind when my surroundings demand peace. And every phone call I make to my boyfriend at home ends with, I love you. Please kiss the belly for me.